Hi guys, Retro Django here. Today we're gonna take a look at another RAM expansion for the Amiga 500 or maybe Amiga 500 Plus. I don't know. I just got this one home, opened it, I should clean it, and when I opened this one, it had a mess of wires inside. So it's got a connection over here, another connector over here. The cabinet has been, oh, case or what's it called? I'm getting corrected when I say cabinet. <laughs> it was drilled and holes and yeah. So what do we have got here? We actually have got one of these guys from Emitech Maximum Memory Expansion for the Amiga 500. Let's take a look here. Maximum. Let me check. Battery is removed. As you can see, it's got a connector here. It's got some RAM in the middle. And if it's possible for you to read on the camera, yes, it is. As you can see here, it says one megabyte, 1.5, and two megabytes of RAM if we fill up all the slots here. As I remember, this one could also be one. 0.8 megabyte but on the Mega 500 if you want to use more than um, 512 megabytes of uh, fast RAM expansion you need to have a Gary, ad Gary adapter as you can see this one this one was also included in the box and yeah as you can see here this one is fully populated battery not even removed yeah again maximum version 2.0 and this one should have 1.8 or 2 megabytes of fast RAM expansion which is great I mean think about 1990 this must have been super nice expan uh, expansion to expansion to have with the 512 kilobytes of chip RAM also so this Gary adapter, as you can see, when I got this one, it was plugged from here to here. All right. But this one was not plugged. <laughs> and as you can see, that one goes over to the 68,000 CPU. And this one was also included. And I must say, and it, it has kickstart 3.1 i haven't turned it on yet no nothing i just you know my you know me every time i find something new <laughs> then i want to document it and I, as i can see this cpu adapter it has a chip here that controls something as you can see it says cpu and it has got a on and off switch also so you can I don't know what you can turn on, on and off here, but as I remember, now Amitech was very popular in Denmark. I remember Amitech, I remember GVP, very, very popular um, here in Denmark. As I remember, this one for the CPU, it can actually enable or disable the opportunity to have one megabyte of chip RAM. As I remember, I'm not sure guys, so if you know, please correct me, but it's a nice one, but it's it's odd that it's not connected. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna power it on as it is and, and see what's gonna happen. I'm not gonna put this one in just, just to see what happens as it is, as I got it here guys. So, um, yeah, let's give it some power and see what happens. <laughs> All right, guys, let's just give this one power as it is and see what's going to happen. Now, again, this cable is not connected, so it's it's really odd setup. So let's just give it some power and see what it does. It gives a sync and nothing else. <laughs> All right. So, 
I think there's something wrong with the CPU part. So let's just start by connecting this one and turn the computer on with the different position on these switches. And if that doesn't help, all right, it's to the right now. Let's give it some power. <clears throat> Again, it gives the sync. It wants to start up, but uh, <laughs> nothing happens. And these jumpers, jumper one and two on the uh, memory card is both on on position. All right, that didn't help either. It should start up now. And to the left, put this one on the CPU. Let's see what's going to happen now. Nothing happens. <laughs> Let's pull out the Kickstart ROM 3.1. Now, you can pull these off with a screwdriver. Just put it in here and wiggle it out. But it's really nice to use one of these guys. So we have Dear ROM over here. Let's put it in and see what's going to happen. There we go, guys. I'm giving us the power. There we go. Oh, we got a gray screen now <laughs> instead of the black. Sometimes the, this diagram, it takes 20 seconds before it starts up, but uh, Let's just wait and see what's going to happen. Nothing happens. <laughs> All right, let's switch this one over and see with diagram. I mean, if the diagram doesn't boot up, then there's something wrong because it really, it skips so many stuff. So. There's some, definitely something wrong. Maybe the RAM here, maybe some juice from the battery, maybe the Gary adapter, maybe the little chip on the Gary adapter, maybe the CPU adapter or the chip on the CPU adapter. So this one didn't help, no nothing. Let's go to the original position. It was like this when I got it. This one was off, so let's take it off and give it some power. We got the black screen again. And come on, Diagram. <laughs> Nothing. All right. No stress. Never stress. <laughs> we have. Uh, we can always find a solution. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna pull this um, CPU adapter out. That's the first thing I wanna check. Um, Usually it would be the battery juice, but as I can see, there's just nothing from the battery. So it looks nice in down there. So let's just leave that one alone and pull out this CPU with a screwdriver. <laughs> as I said, just slide it in. Real careful and hold it on the other side. Don't bend any legs, as you can see, all clean pulled out. So the adapter is off now. Maybe this one is dead, I'm not sure, but let's just give it a go. Um, and we have this little thingy over here. You have to turn them the right way, guys. So let's just put it on this way. There we go. I love the 68,000. <laughs> there we go, guys. Let's give it some power with still diagram inside and let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, yes. Nice. Now, it says 68,000. 
512 kilobytes of chip RAM and fast RAM is 768 not kilobyte no nothing <laughs> well that's odd <laughs> let me see it says chip RAM here I can't really see nothing about fast RAM okay I'm just gonna just here oh that's nice and CIA's come on work I always test every time I get every time I want to clean an Amiga and all that I, I go through this DX ROM if there's something wrong I just want to repair it before I clean anything all right but this <laughs> memory thing down there it's um, it's not how it should be so let me find a drive and um, Let's load up Workbench, and if it works, then it's great. I just want to see if, as it is right now, it should be just a... Fast GAN of 16 megabyte fast RAM. Extended chip RAM. Test detected fast RAM. Yeah. <laughs> Chip memory, 96 kilobyte. It would be, oh, there we go, detected. Can you see that there? Detecting Z3 memory area, detected 1.8 megabyte of fast RAM. That's nice. All right, so we don't need to go around and um, use Workbench now, but that's nice. And uh, this program is testing this memory over here. Um, so the problem with this Amiga was, hey, the seller told me he had it from new. <laughs> the seller told me he had used so much money on upgrading all that. I got some a lot of stuff with um, Imagine and work. What's it called? Deluxe Paint 4. He was animating stuff and all that. Uh, he used, he couldn't remember, but just some small details, guys. And um, he used this one really well, but he said all of a sudden it just went dead. And they looked at it back then in the early, early 90s and they couldn't save it. it they couldn't get a picture, no nothing. So it was just dead, as he said. Um, so he skipped over to a to newer model. He didn't remember what it was, but I think it was an Amiga 600 or 1200. It was probably a 1200. So this one is nice. So let's just um, skip. Uh, let's replace the kickstart ROM. And I mean, it detects 1.8, so that's nice. A fun thing to, to try, try is what happens if I just move one of these jumpers, guys? Okay, jumper number one is on and jumper number two is off. So let's just see what happens. If it, if it works, if it configures uh, the, the, the fast RAM to something lesser or more, I don't know, it's 1.8, it can't be two megabyte. So let's just see, what was it? It was memory tests and the test detected fast RAM and it says one megabyte now. <laughs> so the uh, what are these called? Switches. They also work. That's nice. So let's just put on the 2 megabyte. I actually think if this one works, I mean, if you look down here, nothing. Down here, nothing. It uh, redirects, as you can see, um, everything. And has got this little that says CPU on it. I think this one does the trick instead of making the three mods on the motherboard to get more chip RAM. I love chip RAM, you know it guys. Then I think this one did the trick. So it's not, I mean, it's not that important that that one works. I'm just happy that the Gary adapter and 1.8 MIG works. That's nice. So now, it should detect 
of the thing. Yeah, again, 1.8. That's nice. So what's this one? Fast scan of... Yeah, something, something. I didn't get that. Complete memory detection. Your CPU does not allow 32-bit addressing. What? What was that? Two seconds, guys. It says something down here. Your total memory detected. What? <laughs> 1.2 kilobytes? <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe it's because it's a 16-bit system. It says something with 32-bit. I don't know. I'm not sure. Never used that. Chip RAM should be 512. Checking detected chip RAM. Nothing happens. All right. So let's just put in a normal kickstart run this one and if it boots then the gary adapter and the ram works that's just nice and other than that we have this amitek on youtube also this amitek uh, memory expansion that's nice all right guys again carefully do not bend any legs and let's just again a little notch <laughs> it has to be the same way as this socket down here so don't turn it around the wrong way there we go guys okay i hope it will boot then i will be happy <laughs> come on it takes some time because the disk drive is not uh, inserted if, if it was connected, then it will boot much, much faster. So, that's about it. <laughs> the only thing I should do was just putting off this CPU adapter. I mean, so sad to know about this today. I mean, back in 1991, he could, he could just take this one out, guys, and still use this with 512 kilobytes of chip RAM and 1.8 fast ram yeah a bit of story guys um, yeah thank you for watching thank you for your time now we know how this one looks and works until next time all great you have a nice one bye